Aquan's proof that Hill Valley isn't the perfect place he thinks it is. One no. smoking gun so coming up. Both come to the same conclusion. Ooh. Pop out the tape, son. I think it's done rewinding. Oh. Whoa, whoa, take it easy. Sit here. Guess I blacked out for a minute there. Fell out of my chair. Fell nothing. Somebody whacked you. <laughs> whacked me? Impossible. Well. We take great pride in the fact that incidences of physical violence in Hill Valley have fallen to virtually... Ah, ah. Who did it? Can you tell me? This can't be happening. There's got to be a clue around here somewhere. Um, that was a pretty big clue there. Fucking baseball bat on the floor. Dad, that's not one of our bats, is it? No. No. McFly's never use aluminum bats. Curious. Oh, wait, don't touch it. never use aluminum ones either. Of what? Oh, why would anyone do a thing like that to a nice Sector L citizen like me? Probably a nickname. That's the last thing I remember. <sighs> I was sitting right here, copying another incriminating scene onto my. my tapes. My tapes? What happened to my tapes? There Stay calm, Dad. Are they on the floor? Do you see them? They're in a box marked raw footage. Yes. Here it is. Raw footage. Thank heavens. Wait a minute. You see, I told you you were just jumping to conclusions. All these dark suspicions about thieves and attackers empty. went all the time. It was just empty. What? Yeah. There's no tapes. But I'm sure they were in there before. Before whoever it was whacked you in the head and took them. Oh my gosh, I've been mugged. Mugged in Hill Valley. They can't get away with it. Oh! Don't worry, Dad. We'll get to the bottom of this. Who... Who could have done this to me? Um, probably Edna. Who wouldn't want Doc to get the straight dope on Hill Valley? Edna! Are you saying I was mugged by the mayor's elderly wife? Um, not exactly, no. Oh, it's no use. The tapes are gone. All I can do is hope against hope they don't surface and land me in trouble. Come on, Dad, we can't just give up. Um. Let's look for more clues. Oh. Let's get out there and start shaking people down. We can make them talk. And before you know it, the authorities would get involved and we'd both be in trouble. No thanks. There's got to be something we could do to get our hands on those tapes. Well, we can make new ones. We can? Sure. It may take a while, but if you're willing to help your old man out, it shouldn't take us more than, say, six months? Six months? Really? But I need those tapes now. You need the tapes. Yes. Uh, what I mean is... Uh, half it was a lot work. Uh, yeah, I need to give it to... Oh. I gotta give it to Citizen Brown. I told him I was gonna furnish him with proof that Hill Valley isn't as happy as he thinks it is. And I was in his office, just before I came here. You had an interview with Citizen Brown? It wasn't yes, easy to get, believe me. I had to break all kinds of rules. You've been breaking rules? Harboring stray dogs, kissing girls in public, getting caught with Mom's flask. That is the most far-fetched story I've ever heard. It's true. You forget I'm your father. I know your history. Yeah, well, history's changed. Prove it. Uh... Okay, we've got demerits, haven't we? Is that what they are? There we are. Read them and weep. Demerits, but it's the only way. I don't understand. Dad, listen to me. I mean, really listen. You and I both know that things aren't right here. Citizen Brown might have started with good intentions, but his Hill Valley's just made everybody miserable. Shh. You said that to him? Basically, yeah. Oh, there go our privileges. No, wait, I got him to listen, Dad, and he's gonna make things right for you and Mom and all of us. I can't explain how. You're just gonna have to trust me on this. Okay. But first I have to show him your tapes to prove my point. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Dad. This scheme of yours, maybe you know what you're doing, I can't say. But leave me out Dad. of it. Dad. I don't like trouble. I can't handle it. It's not in my genes. But... 
Um. I don't your family. I am. And I don't want to see my family relocated to Sector X with all the other hopeless cases. Uh, I'll do it for you, Do it for your father. My father? Yeah, Arthur McFly. I know his name. Didn't he have something to do with putting away Kid Tan and, you know, way back when? Yes. Yes, he did. Where do you hear about that? It was way back before Citizen Brown cleaned up the town, before I was even born. Everyone lived in terror of Kid Tannen and his goons. But Dad stood up to him. He had evidence of Kid's guilt, see, and he risked his life to deliver it to the authorities. Never be afraid to do the right thing. That's what he always used to tell me. Now what are you doing? Trying to remember which is the right feed. Feed to what? To the surveillance camera, the one in the yard. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You have a surveillance camera trained on yourself? Of course. Gotta cover all bases. Now help me figure out which monitor I'm on. Uh, okay. Let's click on the monitors and... There we go. Hello? Uh, we, uh... The monitor's dead. Yeah. Alright, so if we exit this now and then... Let me get this straight. You captured this whole attack on tape? Of course! Surveillance is what I do! Why didn't you say so in the first place? Come on, son. Stop dawdling and help me track down that feed. I'll Try flip flipping the, the switches. I've done that. It's here. It's, it's... Hello? Yeah. What more do we need to do? It's there. I need to click on the VCR part of it, very right? sorry. There, that looks like us. So the surveillance tape must be on this VCR. This must be before the attack. Let's see. I remember cleaning the playback heads at 5.30. The attack couldn't have been very long after. Oh, it's Biff. Oh, Biff! But it can't be him. The Citizens Plus program has rendered him as gentle as a... Kitten. Huh? huh? It was hardly a hard strike in the back of the head, was it? Let's see, yeah. I can't understand it. It's not the way he's supposed to behave. Why, even the old Biff would hey, never... wait, what's that weird flashing on his wrist? Let's find out. Well, I knew this zoom and enhanced feature would come in handy someday. Cost me a bundle at the hobby shop. It's his digital watch. I wonder why it's doing that. Hey, wait, wait, stop the picture. Can you zoom in anymore? X11. You know what that means? Not yet. Lorraine! Don't lay into me, George. I've got something very important to say, and then I'm going to be leaving again. I've got something important to say, too. I was attacked it's and robbed. It's always robbed. about you, isn't it? You can't just wait and listen to my news. Oh, no. You have to go and beat me to the punch. That's right. You two sort things out. I've got some business to attend to. Been in months, George. For your information, I haven't had a drink all day. All right, let's have a quick chat with Biff then, shall we? Oh, we're doing it anyway. Whoa, settle down there, fella. You beat up my dad. Do we have a problem here, citizens? No, no, okay, officer, right, we do. just a little misunderstanding. I'm sure we could work it out. Right, Martin? Sure. Okay. Let me know if you need any help, Mr. Tannen. Now let's see if we can get to the bottom of this. Yeah, let's. Right, Why'd you hurt my dad, Biff? He never did anything to you in this timeline. Timeline? What are you talking about? Don't play dumb. I saw you on camera. I can't hurt anybody! Thanks to Citizen Plus, I blow chunks whenever I even think about doing bad stuff. <laughs> really? See? Um, right, what did you do with my dad's secret videotape? Secret videotape? 
you know, the one that shows how people are fed up with all these screwy rules and laws. You lost me, Martin, but that tape sounds dangerous. It should probably be dumped in the decycling bin. If you didn't beat up my dad, then where have you been for the last couple of hours? Well, I was... I was... What? That's strange. I, I don't remember. Huh. What's the last thing you remember before your memory loss? Well, I was handing out flyers for the Citizen Plus program, just like I'd been doing all day. I just finished giving some leftover bologna to a cute little squirrel when Miss Edna came by. Surprise, Edna? surprise. Yeah. She wanted to run a, a, a diagnostic on my Citizen Plus watch. I must have fallen asleep or something, because when she was done, it was an hour later. And then your mom came by. Uh, Edna was fiddling so with the watch. The last yeah? thing you remember before my dad got beat up is Edna fiddling with your watch. Yeah, that does sound pretty bad, doesn't it? Alright, so we're gonna have a look at it. Your watch. Does X11 mean anything to you? X11? Is that a new band or something? I don't go in for that new hippity hoppity stuff. It's not a band, Biff. It's a mode on your Citizen Plus watch. Weird. I've never seen it look like that. Heck, I can barely get this thing to stop blinking. See? Okay, so if we press cool. mode... There we go. And... X... 11. Do we have to press mode again, maybe? Biff? Yeah. Uh... There we go. Okay, that's weird. Uh, right. Did you attack, you attack my dad? My dad? Uh, now we're getting somewhere. Uh, why? Why'd you attack my dad? Uh, he doesn't know. Who put you he must have been hypnotized. Who, who put you up to this? Uh, Guess that'll have either. to wait until after I get the tape. Okay, um... Where's, Where's my dad's tape? tape? In the bin. The recycling bin? Okay. What's wrong with you? He doesn't know that. Uh, can you get Could you do me a favor and go get my dad's tape? Hey, Mr. Tin. What's up? Uh, 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 Is that McFly kid bothering you? Uh, hey, you can't go in there. Uh, uh, hey! Whoa. Uh. Holy smokes. W w what happened to him? I don't know. No one's ever jumped into the decycling bin before. Well, where does it go? That information is above my pay grade. Oh, jeez. I'm in a lot of trouble now. Don't move a muscle, McFly. I gotta go tell Citizen Brown about this. Uh, so... Surely we just... Got a really bad feeling about well. this. Surely. Well, here goes nothing. Yeah. Gosh, man. Did I do something wrong? Did I do something? Mr. Tanner, I put a lot of work into honing you as the first Citizen Plus. What on earth possessed you to assault a police officer and dive head first into the decycling bin? I do all that? Lord, I thought your father was dim. No, really. I don't remember doing anything like that. The last thing I remember, I was showing that nice McFly kid my watch. Then, blam, I'm down here and you're yelling at me. McFly? <laughs> McFly. Oh, what's up, bitch? Strickland. Oh, hi, Martin. Give me the tapes, Edna. Mr. Tannen, please restrain our guest. Uh, Biff, stop! Stop! Oh no. Okay, so... Um... Escape from... How? Uh... 
open. Hey, hey, look over there. It's beer. Beer? Huh? Tannin. Focus. Uh, oh, okay. okay. So. Yeah. Isn't that the license plate to your car? Sheila? What's going on? Howard Tannen, obey your programming. Yes, it's uh, the greatest programming. You see, Mr. McFly, thanks to the enhancements I've made to the Citizen Plus program, I can bring even the most rabid of dogs to heal. I think Martin will make a nice see, Citizen okay, Plus so candidate. Don't you, Mr. Tan? What else have we got? Um, we so we need stuff like... Uh, we've got a dog. What have we got down? A cigar? A cigar? I like cigars, should we? What's your favorite cigars? Cubans! Where am I? Tannen? I didn't go behind my namby-pamby husband's back so you could wallow in your vices. Ow. Uh, pawn. A white pawn. Look, girly mags. Boobies. Boobies indeed, Biff. Tannen, listen to me. Uh, babes. Uh, Hunter in the first, Biff. Booze. Mommy? Tannin! Get up, you useless slacker! Come on, Edna, give the poor jerk a break. A break? You sound like my wishy-washy husband, always trying to find the good in people, never wanting to accept the fact that some people are just born bad. Maybe, but that doesn't give you the right to turn them into zombies. Now, give me my dad's tapes so I can- You mean those tapes I erased while you were struggling with my zombie? What? Come on. Utopias are fragile things, Mr. McFly. Especially when overseen by minds as distractible as my husband's. No. No! Edna! Doc? Uh -huh. Emmett! What are you doing here? I came down here to investigate a troubling report involving Mr. Tan. Doc, you gotta stop her. She... Silence! Okay. Easy, bro. I was concerned there might be a flaw in my Citizen Plus program. Imagine my surprise when I found my wife perverting my life's work. Is this what it's all been about, Edna? All those years? All our struggles to cure society's illnesses? Just to create a world where free will can be turned off with a flick of a switch? Oh, please, Emmett. You wanted this just as much as I did. Remember? If only we could tell someone to stay off the grass and so help us, they would never tread foot on a well-manicured lawn again. That's what Citizen Plus does. It makes rules unbreakable. I only gave it the slightest of changes. Enough. We will not have this discussion here. But... Go home and wait for me. Fine. Alright, so what's happening now? Alright, easy tiger. Father, what have I done? You fucked, fucked up, bro. That's what you did. Um, don't, don't, don't be so hard on yourself. This hill valley may be a little messed up. Okay, a lot messed up, but you were just trying to help people. Or was I just entranced by the challenge of transforming the human psyche like so many chemicals? I'm sorry, I'm about, sorry Edna. about Edna, Doc. She didn't seem so bad back in 1931. No, she wasn't. When we were first dating, she was so spirited and principled. 
compassion. When did I lose her? I'm sure he wouldn't blame you for all this, Doc. He was so happy that I gave up my childish dreams in favor of Edna's more practical pursuits. Are you proud of me now, Father? Ah! Enough wallowing! What's done is done. It's time to look forward. Maybe, but maybe not. What? Your notebook from the other timeline. Not this foolishness again. Look! You can use it to repair the time machine and fix all this so it never happened. Everyone could be back the way they're supposed to be. You, Edna, Jennifer, my parents. Doc, you once told me if you put your mind to it, you could accomplish anything. Well, accomplish this. There's a lot of empty pages. The only one you need is right here. Same logos of this flipsy. Never noticed actually. Martin, this this could work. Yes, It'll it could. Now crack on. Us, but once it's done, so we can we'll fix have all everything. the time in the world. <laughs> Doc, Martin, we must get started at once. Come on. We bring Ainie along. The dog, yes, of course. You know, I used to love dogs before Edna came along. You don't say. I'll go ahead and start preparing a lab. Edna will be furious, but who cares? We've got a time machine to fix. Excellent. Woohoo! Right, let's get Einstein, let's get the fuck out of here. Don't worry, boy, I'll get you out of here in no time. What is it, Einie? Oh, I... Not good. Hey, Biff. You okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Better than I've been in a long time, you know? Oh, stupid fucking air fever. So you remember... That witch making me do stuff? Yeah, she'll get what's coming to her. No one tells Biff Tannen what to do. No one. Hey, I I'm the guy who snapped you out of it. Really? Because all I remember is a punk kid who thought it'd be funny to make me jump down a hole. Ah. No, not really. Um, right, okay, so we got some... I hope I don't run out of rock. Um... I think not maybe? Is that supposed to scare me or something? I have no idea. Um... Down there. I'd stay. Okay. Oh, All right. McFly. Oh, crap. All right, McFly. All right. Time to race the music. Face. It's face the music, you idiot. All right, let's throw some more of these at him. Uh, I'm I'm sick sick of him. Right, now hit the panic button, so I'll flip the table. Place your bets. What the? Let's get out of here, Einie. The question is, how the frick are we in the speakeasy when we're underneath the courthouse? Because that decycling bin was next Doc, to the courthouse and sorry, the so speakeasy was Biff nowhere near the courthouse, it was on the other side of the fucking town. I totally laid him out with the old ruler. Martin McFly. Interesting. Edna, it's almost impressive how many years of work and planning you nearly ruined in just a few short hours. Where's Doc? Uh, Doc. My husband is in a better place. Better place? What have you done to him? Relax, Martin. We've got everything under control. Okay, that's not good. No! No! That's not no. good at all. I don't know what it's all... Oh, you kidding me, man? Huh? 
Oh, there we have it, guys. That is the end of Citizen Brown, which is the third episode, I believe, of this series. We've got two more still to bloody do. Uh, so if you've enjoyed this one, do hit the like button, guys. Subscribe for more content from me and the other geeks, as we have the preview of what's going to be happening in the next episode in the background here. Uh, got any comments? Leave them down below as well. Thank you very, very, very much for watching, guys. It's almost and embarrassing how good he is to me. Let's just see you gotta believe me, Jennifer. what is going to happen this next time. Gone crazy, and Citizen Brown and I are the only ones who can fix it. There is no future for us. So yeah, the next one is Back to the Future of the Game. It's entitled Double Visions. So like I said, thank you very much for watching, guys. Hope to see you on the next one. And like I said, check out all the other content from my fellow geeks on the channel. Thank you very much. Adios!